I'm just going to adjust this sheet and you can watch and if you need any help, refer to this video. I think it makes most sense to start with the fonts before we size the columns because that way we only have to size the columns once. So I'm starting with the center block of fonts and I'm going to change the text to one that I like. You can choose the one that you like. So I've highlighted the whole thing. I've changed the font. It's still at 10. I'll change it. You can change the size here if you want to, um, depending on the size you'd like. I also like to set it to the middle uh, alignment. Uh, so this is horizontal and vertical alignment. I change that. Uh, then I come to row one right here, and I'm going to change my headers so they're nice and bold and obvious. You can choose the font that you like. I like Oswald's. You can go to 12 just so they're very clear. I don't need to bold it because I've gone 12 and it's much bigger. That's fine. I also like to center these. Vertical and horizontal line. I'm going to select uh, the top movie and highlight all the way down to the bottom. Maybe give some extra rows for data if we want to. And I will be formatting these to a different font as well. You can stick with the one you did or you could choose a different one choose that one and I'm going to go to a bigger one and I like to leave it uh, left aligned and on the bottom. All right now I'm going to resize all my rows so I'm going to select or my columns I'm going to select A through H, right click on the screen, resize the columns, fit to data and OK. Then I like to make everything a little bit bigger because when it's smushed in like that, let's see, I have to unhighlight first. But it's smushed in like that. Um, it is make, it's a bit harder for the um, for you to read what all of the columns say. So I just like to stretch these out a bit. And since there's so few columns, I'm just going to do it manually. If there was a lot, I'd probably do it differently. But um, we've only got a couple, and it just takes a second. There we go. Now I'm going to change the size of all of my rows. I'm going to start with the header row. I like that one to be a bit bigger. Or two, and then I'm going to select number two and highlight all the way down to the bottom of my list. I'm going to give some extra room, like I did before, just to um, put in data at the bottom. Go in between until you get that arrow and drag down a bit, and it resizes all of your rows. I've quickly formatted that. Now I'm going to add the colors to this. I don't want the outside bits colored, so I'm only going to highlight the area where there's data. And I'm going to go to Format and Alternating Colors. And here you can choose your color, anything you want. You can change them here if you'd like. Orange maybe. Done. And now we have alternating colors very easily. The next thing we need to do is alphabetize. When alphabetizing, you can select the whole sheet again, including the header row. You're going to right click and go to Sort Range. Now you need to click this box, otherwise your header row will get alphabetized with the rest of it. And I'll show you what that looks like. Let's do column A, A to Z, and I do sort without checking the header row. Now notice that my header is all of a sudden down here. So what you can do is grab onto 27, let's see, click once, so it's highlighted. Then this little hand comes and you click and hold and drag it back up to the top. And now your uh, header is back in the right spot, but you'd have to readjust the rows. A better way to do that is to control Z back to where you were, highlight the whole thing again, right click, sort range, this time check that box. And you'll see that it's checked because the name of the header is in here. So you can see name, years, etc. I'll organize by name this time, A to Z is fine, and do sort. And it brought with all the data along with it. So now it's sorted A to Z and all of this is correct. All right. Uh, so that is how you quickly organize and add color to your Google Sheet.